Hey everybody, today I wanted to have uh, a review of my personal favorite Friday the 13th uh, sequels and personally I love the first four movies in my opinion these are these are the movies these four are the ones that get the best reviews and are personally the best sequels this is Friday the 13th one you can see the first one the second one the third one and of course the fourth one the final chapter now, all these movies uh, personally and I'm a big fan of this one the first one and the third one actually I like them all I mean the like I said the, the, the second one has a sack head Jason uh, the you know a very good final girl the Amy Steele the fourth one really has a few uh, good um, actors like Corey Feldman and I believe this movie is made by Joseph Zito, who is also the director of The Prowler, a good 1981 slasher, and I believe Tom Savini made the uh, special effects, so you know this is gonna be good. And also, the third one is pretty fun because in my, uh, you really get to see Jason's disformed. Uh, face in this one uh, better than in the second one in my opinion and also he gets his iconic hockey mask in this one uh, and the good thing is that it's really consistent with the first one the second one the third one the you really can watch these these four movies as a complete whole movie like Halloween one and two uh, this also has a Jason that's somewhat killable, you know, the, the, that's the reason why I don't really like the other sequels. They're fun, but that's just it. They're fun. They're like comedy slashers. So, in my opinion, you have two um, uh, grades of, 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 of Friday the 13th sequels. You've got the A grade, which are these, in my opinion. And the B grade, which are, let's say, from Jason Lives till Jason Takes Manhattan. Those have the zombie Jason, the Jason that is just indestructible. And then you have the middle one, which I really don't like. That's A New Beginning, where Jason is obviously uh, done by a copycat uh, killer. And, uh, yeah, I really do like these four uh, Friday the 13th uh, I believe one of the best uh, on IMDB is the uh, final chapter these are just great movies of course it basically has the same premise but since um, you know the, 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 the premise of having horny teens <laughs> nudity and gore in a, a secluded area which is Camp Crystal Lake or somewhere around Camp Camp, uh, Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, but since I since I am uh, since I started watching slasher movies, that's sort of the same premise for all these movies, which makes it sort of wacky. But the thing is, uh, but wacky fun, you know. The thing is, what I do look for in a good slasher movie is gore, atmosphere, and tension tension yeah uh, also the location so these movies have that and I don't think the uh, the B grade like I said the, the sixth one till the eighth one for example especially not the fifth one have that in my opinion they're like more they're more like like I said of a, a, a zombie monster sort of guy that hands down his victims and a, it's fun don't get me wrong I like those movies but they're not in this range of quality this range of quality also has a fairly indestructible guy 
but still can be he can be killed a fun thing is that the jason mask you can see the gash here you know the gash this one he gets from an axe in friday the 13th part 3 in the end where they think they killed him then of course he doesn't die and for some reason they they keep they stay consistent throughout the all the sequels even the sequels when jason really dies in this one he dies basically and when he's resurrected after uh, one movie he keeps this gash in all his masks which is fun to see it's a fun little fact it's like uh, the problem with halloween mask michael myers he always has a different mask a silly mask or a bad mask or whatever here they keep consistent with the gash in his hockey mask so like i said these these are really really good friday 13th and if you never saw them you really should see them uh, these aren't particularly my f most favorite uh, of the uh, franchise slashers. You've got Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street. Later on you had um, Hellraiser. But Halloween is my most favorite killer. So these are sort of my second favorite. I do really like the Jason character. And I really... The fact that these movies basically have... This one has a different killer. This one has the killer with a different mask. This movie has a different sort of in the beginning with a different. He, he doesn't have a mask in the beginning. After that, he has a mask. And this one is the complete version with the mask. We all know and love. But here he also dies. So this is actually a good ending for this movie. That's why I like these four. So really watch these movies, you can watch them back to back and you have a complete story. I really recommend these ones. Bye.